Welcome to our channel Circuits Analytica. In this video, we will discuss the operation of a 2 input TTL NAND gate. What is TTL NAND gate? TTL is the acronym or short form for transistor transistor logic. A NAND gate implemented using bipolar junction transistors is called as a TTL NAND gate. For a TTL NAND gate with n number of inputs, when all the n inputs are at logic 1, output of the TTL NAND gate will be at logic 0. Else, output of the TTL NAND gate will be at logic 1. In our discussion, we are considering a 2 input TTL NAND gate, the 2 inputs are A and B and the output is denoted as Z. When A is equal to B is equal to 1, Z is equal to 0, else Z is equal to 1. This is the circuit diagram of a 2 input TTL NAND gate. The circuit consists of a multi-emitter transistor Q1, bipolar junction transistors Q2 and Q3. Apart from these three transistors, the circuit also consists of four resistors R1, R2, R3 and R4. Supply voltage plus VCC provides necessary biasing for the transistors. So this is the equivalent diagram of a 2 input TTL NAND gate. Here the multi emitter transistor is replaced with 3 diodes. The diode which is pointing towards right represents the collector base junction of transistor Q1. And there are 2 diodes shown in the diagram pointing towards left which represents the 2 base emitter junctions of the transistor. So whenever transistor Q3 is turned on, current flows through resistance R4 and potential at the collector of transistor Q3 becomes 0.2 volt. And whenever transistor Q3 is in the off condition, current flow through resistor R4 is equal to 0. So voltage drop across resistor R4 is equal to 0. So potential at the collector of transistor Q3 is equal to plus VCC. Or output voltage V0 is equal to plus VCC or logic 1. So when transistor Q3 is conducting, output is equal to ground or logic 0. And when transistor Q3 is in the off condition, Output V0 is equal to plus VCC or logic 1. Now let us discuss the operation of this TTL NAND gate for various input combinations. When input A is equal to B is equal to 0, current flows through the base emitter junction of transistor Q1. So, Collector current of transistor Q1 is equal to 0 as the collector base junction is in the reverse biased condition. So, transistor Q2 is in the off condition. As transistor Q2 is off, emitter current of transistor Q2 is equal to 0 or base current of transistor Q3 is equal to 0. So, transistor Q3 is in the off condition. As transistor Q3 is in the off condition, its collector current is equal to 0. As collector current of transistor Q3 is equal to 0, output voltage V0 is equal to plus VCC or output is equal to logic 1. So, when input A is equal to B is equal to 0, output Z is equal to logic 1. 
Now let us discuss the second input combination. A is equal to 0, B is equal to 1. As A is equal to 0 and B is equal to 1, one of the base emitter junction of transistor Q1 is in the forward biasity condition. So, current flows through that base emitter junction. Even though current flow through the other base emitter junction which is highlighted in the red color is equal to zero, as current flows through one of the base emitter junctions, diode which is pointing towards right is in the off condition. That means base current of transistor Q2 is equal to zero. That means transistor Q2 is in the off condition. As transistor Q2 is in the off condition, emitter current of transistor Q2 is equal to zero. So base current of transistor Q3 is equal to zero. As base current of transistor Q3 is equal to zero, transistor Q3 is in the off condition. As transistor Q3 is in the off condition, collector current of transistor Q3 is equal to zero. As collector current of transistor Q3 is equal to zero, voltage drop across resistance R4 is equal to zero. That means potential difference between output and plus VCC is equal to zero. That means output voltage V0 is equal to plus VCC or output voltage V0 is equal to logic 1. So when A is equal to 0 and B is equal to 1, output Z is equal to logic 1. Now let us consider the third input combination A is equal to 1 and B is equal to 0. When A is equal to 1 and B is equal to 0, out of the two base emitter junctions of transistor Q1, one base emitter junction which is highlighted in the red color is in the off condition. So current flow through that base emitter junction is equal to zero. But as B input is equal to zero, the second base emitter junction which is highlighted in the green color is in the on condition. So current flows through that forward bias the base emitter junction. So current flow through collector base junction of transistor Q1 is equal to zero. So base current of transistor Q2 is equal to zero. So transistor Q2 is in the off condition. As transistor Q2 is in the off condition, emitter current of transistor Q2 is equal to zero. So base current of transistor Q3 is equal to zero. So transistor Q3 is in the off condition, as transistor Q3 is in the off condition, its collector current is equal to zero. As collector current of transistor Q3 is equal to zero, voltage drop across resistance R4 is equal to zero. As voltage drop across resistance R4 is equal to zero, output voltage V0 is equal to plus VCC or plus 5 volt or output voltage V0 is at logic 1. So when A is equal to 1 and B is equal to 0, output Z is equal to logic 1. Now let us consider the fourth input combination when A is equal to B is equal to 1. As A is equal to B is equal to 1, None of the two base emitter junctions of transistor Q1 is in the forward bias condition. So, current flow through these two PN junction diodes is equal to zero. So, current flows through resistance R1 and collector base junction of transistor Q1. So, transistor Q2 is turned on. As transistor Q2 is on, current flows through collector and emitter of transistor Q2. A part of the emitter current of transistor Q2 flows towards base of transistor Q3. So transistor Q3 is turned on. As transistor Q3 is turned on, collector potential of transistor Q3 becomes 0.2 volt or we can say approximately equal to zero. Output voltage V0 is equal to 
zero volt. In other words, output Z is equal to zero when input A is equal to B is equal to one. So for the two input TTL NAND gate, when A is equal to B is equal to one, output Z is equal to zero. This is the truth table of the TTL NAND gate. When A is equal to B is equal to zero, transistor Q1 is in the on condition. So transistor Q2 and Q3 are in the off condition. As transistor Q3 is off, its collector voltage is equal to plus 5 volt or Z is equal to logic 1. When A is equal to zero and B is equal to one, transistor Q1 is conducting so transistor Q2 and Q3 are in the off condition. So output Z is equal to logic 1. When A is equal to 1 and B is equal to 0, transistor Q1 is conducting as current flows through one of its base emitter junction. So transistor Q2 and Q3 are in the off condition. So output Z is equal to logic 1. When A is equal to B is equal to 1, Transistor Q1 is in the off condition and transistor Q2 and Q3 are in the on condition. As transistor Q3 is on, its collector voltage is pulled down to ground potential. So collector voltage of transistor Q3 is equal to zero. Or we can say that Z is equal to logic zero. Thanks for watching circuits analytica enjoy learning